Howdy. Uh, my name is David Cudney, and um, along with uh, Jerry Miller, who's the owner and founder of the factory on Fifth, uh, I help run that uh, operation. And uh, factory on Fifth. The factory on Fifth. Um, if you're not aware, we have 30 artist studios, uh, two full galleries, and a performance event space, the Cosmos. And uh, the Cosmos is also um, home to Church of Beethoven. Well, it used to be Church of Beethoven. It's now Sunday Chatter. And um, we're really fortunate to have them as part of the community there at the factory. Um, they have a, an event every Sunday. And um, they generally sell out every Sunday. And it's a, a really, I think, a really great part of the community here in Albuquerque is the Chatter. Um, organization and um, along with I was mentioning the two galleries we have um, two full galleries and we're pretty much booked all year round in terms of shows in there and um, that was one of the things I wanted to talk about as far as the, the core the creative core is um, we found that there's a real need for people to show their work and like Sherry was talking about, having a space where um, people can come and show the work that they're doing and be interact with the community and be a part of the community. And um, that's one of the things that I would like to see more of if there's a lot of empty spaces here downtown um, in terms of places where people can come and just put on a show of their work or a group of people can put on a show of their work. Um, like I said, we, we found that there's a really big demand for that. And um, the second thing I wanted to talk about was uh, this uh, project that we did that started out at the factory. Uh, it was a mural project uh, that started in the neighborhood. Uh, Jerry and I happened to also be on the board of the Wells Park Neighborhood Association. And we had an idea for a mural project along the railroad track uh, on First Street, which is the border of Wells Park. And um, so we approached Suzanne here at 516, and um, after we had created interest within the neighborhood, uh, we were able to raise some money that way. And then working with Suzanne, we also um, approached the Albuquerque Community Foundation, the fund, and we were able to raise some money from that. And then from that, we were able to go to the city through Sherry. Um, she helped us um, to present to the Arts Board. And um, it was a pretty successful project. Over two summers, we um, did six murals along the railroad tracks. And um, I just thought it was a good example of a project that started very grassroots. It started at the neighborhood level and then sort of worked its way up through the different organizations and got all different organizations involved, as opposed to a project where, you know, if like the arts board might say we have X amount of money and we want to do this project and then ask for some proposals or whatever, this started out, like I said, at the neighborhood level and worked its way up. <clears throat> and I think it was a successful project, and I think that. Um, more projects like this that start out with, you know, a local idea in terms of neighborhoods knowing what their needs are or what a blighted area might be within their neighborhood. They were talking about the vacant lots and that kind of thing. And um, so this, I uh, had one more there. These were the two that we just did uh, this past summer. And we did the, the murals once we started working with 516, we tried to do them in conjunction with the shows that were going on at the time. And the, the first murals were during the Isaiah show here at 516. And um, these two last summer were during the, um, the shows that involved Native American artists. So those were the two things I wanted to talk about were galleries and community projects that work their way up from a neighborhood level.